the live this morning. Oh, I'm not here for blessings. Come on, you got time to come in this morning. Jesus, you don't owe me anything. Come on, can you stop what you're doing and tag, share, tell somebody how good it is to be in the house of the Lord this minute, this morning, amen. Can you stop, stop and tag? Welcome people into Faith Victory Christian Center. Hey, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall oh, rejoice yeah. and be glad in it. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I have my phone, please? When I've gone through the motions, I'm sorry. Yes. That I just sing another song. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart. I'm sorry yeah. when I come with my agenda. I'm sorry Woo. when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. Come on, I'm sharing this morning. I'm caught up in your prayer. Tell him he don't owe you anything this morning. Jesus, you don't owe me anything. More than anything that you can do. I just want you. Woo. Yes. Hallelujah. Just want you. Come on. Nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, Jesus. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Yeah. Nothing else.
How bad do you want him this morning? Amen. Amen. How bad do you want him this morning? Amen. Amen. I just want him. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, right where you are. Right where you are. Just lift your hands to, the, to his presence. Come on, God. These hands are lifted toward you this morning. We surrender it all to you this morning. But we're not here for the blessings. But God, your blessings are good. And we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for watching over us. We thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for your presence. Your presence. We thank you for your spirit that is traveling to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Father, you know what each person is standing in need of on this morning. You know what they're standing in need of. You standing. You know what they're standing in want. So, Father, we ask that you visit them right where they are. Right where they are. For there is no distance in the spirit. And we thank you for your sweet spirit that encamped this place. Ooh, there's a sweet spirit that encamps this place. Yes. And we thank you for your spirit that is encamping this place. We thank you. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your presence. For you touching the hearts of your people. You minister to them right where they are. Yes, Father, thank you. And we pray that he visit you right where you are this morning. Whatever you stand in need of this morning, believe that God can and he will do it. Amen. We give you glory this morning in Hallelujah. Jesus' matchless name. Come on, the next voice that you're going to hear is our very own Pastor Lambda Grimsley. Amen. If you can't put those glad hands together. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Well, God bless you. Amen. Thank God for each and every last one of you. Amen. We thank Pastor Vanessa. Amen. And all of you uh, for praise and worship. Amen. Thank y'all for joining me live. Amen. Thank God for you in your respective place. Amen. All right. While we're in the spirit. Amen. Which we shall be. Let's go ahead and pray. Amen. And we're going to jump inside of the word of God. That I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing to you. All right. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory and honor to thy name, O oh God. God, we thank you for this time of fellowship amongst our word. And God, we know that all of your word is truth, truth without error. Now, God, I thank you now that you know everybody's name by name, situation by situation, whatever they need to hear. Holy Ghost, you know. And I thank you today. I step back as the spirit of the living God steps uh, up on the inside of me. Now, Father, I thank you right now that your word, not only is a burden removing yoke, it's the power of God. But God, it comes to make things so much better in everybody's life. And God, we thank you today. I'm going to grow today because God, the word of faith is going to be taught. And Father, I thank you now for all the results that's going to come from the word of God today. Yes, sir. It's going to happen. I am going to receive the manifestation of my faith. And we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, let everybody shout amen. Amen. All right, you may take your seats. Amen. Get your Bibles. We're going to do our Declaration of Faith. And, uh, of course, we are definitely going to be on our way. Amen. So thank God for each and every last person that's here in person and one's watching us by social media. Amen. So come on, lift the Bibles and repeat after me. Come on, shop. This is my Bible. This, this is my Bible. Bible. I am. I am. What it says, I am. What it says, I am. I can do. I can do. What it says, I can do. What it says, I can do. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. And not a doubt. And not a doubt. I'm a doer. I'm a doer. And not just to hear. And not just to hear. In my life. In my life. Is the better. Is the better. After having heard. After having heard. The word of faith. The word of faith. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing. And hearing. And hearing by. And hearing by. The word of God. The word of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Well, Hebrews 11 and 1, uh, we'll start there. And, uh, of course, uh, Colossians 1 and 9, and Joshua 1 and 8, to give you a running start uh, as I continue to open it up. Amen. So that's Colossians 1 and 9, Joshua 1 and 8, Hebrews 11 and 1. So we want to thank God for each and last one of you. Amen. This is our first Sunday. Can you believe that? First Sunday in 2024. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. That is truly amazing. Amen. 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 Uh, to be on this side. Amen. Yes, and we Lord. know that we want to do a continuation. Uh, God has spoken so, I mean, so much, uh, so much we have to, you know, to accomplish during uh, 2024 uh, individually for your lives, corporately, uh, with you together in partnership. And so we want your life to be so much better. It doesn't mean anything was wrong with it, but God always, I'm telling you, every day, every week, every month, he makes things better on the inside of your life. Remember, God institutes in the word of God that you must grow. He says, he goes to talk about that, look, you, you, you got no business being still on, on milk. 
You know, so y'all doing meat by now. So God instituted the, with the power of the Holy Ghost living on the inside of you. It demands that you grow. Amen. The Bible says every time you bear fruit, mm -hmm. he said, I'm going to prune that, but grow some more. Yeah, amen. And when you said when you get more, he said, do much. Do much. So you can't ever stop growing inside the kingdom of God. Amen. amen. So it's a uh, it's an ongoing process, and we want to help you with that process and your relationship with God inside the kingdom of God. Amen. So this is not going to be my topic. Uh, I'm going to use it today, but uh, I haven't gotten God hadn't revealed yet uh, that first series that we're teaching of the year. Uh, I know how I want to do it per se but not all the fine details. So I'm going to set this up today. We're going to talk about embracing uh, the lifestyle of faith for the believers. We're talking about embracing the lifestyle of faith for the believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's just our working uh, uh, definition subject, a topic uh, that we're used. And what God has shown me, has shown me is I, you can't take it for granted that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can't take it for granted mm -hmm. that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. I've known people, been in church 50, 60 years, they don't know. I've known people been in there for a year, five years, and don't know. Just because you've been in church all of your life don't mean that you know. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so I have to have that understanding and be very simplistic. And uh, not only in my life, but everybody's life, because to each of us, you, we're going to learn some things. And what God wants to share, plus I'll do just a small recap of 2024 word that we have and reason why we must be very systematic and be repetitious in everything that God says and, and, and embrace the word of God uh, because the devil is still the devil. Mm. Yeah, you might have turned to Calum. We don't focus on him, but we must know how he operates. Amen. Mm -hmm. Remember in, in uh, 2 Corinthians, we can't say we're not ignorant of his devices. So we don't, I don't concentrate on him, but I know who he is. I know how he operates. Mm. So if you know how it operates, then you can drive it. Amen. Amen. All right, Amen. Amen. Who got a driver's license? You got to drive your car. Amen. That means you got a license to operate. Mm. God says, you're going to live life. All right. I'm going to give you the license mm -hmm. to operate. All right. Now, I'm amazed at folks who wants to, wants to drive life without God. All right. mm -hmm. You want to drive life and God says, you want to get your license from me and you want to work life, not from this, from the word. Jesus. Don't make sense. Got it? So <laughs> this is what we must use. I don't care what everybody, remember we said it on that uh, last Sunday. We don't care what everybody's experiencing, but bottom line is, if I can find it in the word, mm -hmm. glory to God, release my faith for it, I can have it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 and 1. That's why I told y'all to go. Yes. <laughs> well, let me get on over there. Amen. So we're going to look at this. This is truly amazing. It's going to be a cap on it. It's not even on my notes like that. Uh, but uh, it, it's very important for your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when you, every time I teach different, different things God has me to teach, he always gives, gives more uh, on that, more revelation, more insight into different things, how to interpret it and explain it to the believer so that your life would be so much better. Remember, if you never get the revelation, you must, you must listen to this. There's two things can happen anytime you go to any service of the word of God. You're going to get information. Information just challenges your thinking. That's all it does. You got information. It challenges the way I think. Mm. Not bad. It's okay. But it doesn't change your behavior. Mm -hmm. I must move on to the revelation. All right? Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Not my revelation. It's a level of comprehension on your level that you got. Everybody's on different types of level. We're going to be able to look at that. But do you understand it? Mm -hmm. Understand it means I get it. I know how to get this thing to work for it. And I'm not backing up. That's revelation. And until a person get a revelation of a thing, you can talk, you can pray next on the year, they're not changing. All right. I'm going to help you with the vision. It's not happening. So you must get the revelation. So the Bible tells us that as a, as a man of God, I teach the word of God. Now watch this. For preachers out there who don't know, who worry about, uh, you know, seeing signs and wonders, watch this. God says you teach the word of God. But watch it. The Holy Ghost, listen, confirms. Yes. The word talk with signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. It's not my job to confirm signs and wonders in your life. Come on, yeah. 
right. It is the word of God yes, that's sir. going to confirm it. Yes, sir. In your daily life and the things you have to deal with and overcome and go higher in, he said, I'm going I'm to show it to you in my life. That's the Holy Ghost job. Yes, and listen, this, as a believer, you have the Holy Ghost living on the inside Amen. of you. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 If the Holy Ghost can't check it, I don't know, I don't know what else we're going to be able to do. Amen. Amen. So Hebrews 11 and 1. Are y'all there? Amen. Amen. Now faith is the substance of things what? Hope, Hope for. It is the evidence of things not, not seen. For, listen to verse number 2. I'm going to get back to that later on in the lesson somewhere down the road in the teaching. For by it. Now I'm going to show you how to set the Bible. Just, just, just a moment. Like I said, can't take for granted. For by it. Who is he talking to? Listen to it. For by it. By what? By faith. That's what the it is talking about. For by it, the elders. Who are your elders? He's talking about the old patriarchs, the saints. Isaiah, David, Moses. All of all He's talking about all that. The, the whole Old Testament. All these old patriarchs who came. Did not have a Bible. Did not have the Holy Ghost living on the inside of them. Uh -huh. And here's the catch. You're going to watch some things that they did. Now remember, they, got, they don't have a Bible and they don't have the Holy Ghost on the scene and living in life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they accomplished more than us. Come on now. Uh -huh. And we got the Bible, all six, six books. All six, six, six. <laughs> Speaking in tongues, they could not do it like they, none. You're doing all that. And you can't accomplish nothing. My, my, my. Watch this. What I mean by that, we get a headache and we go for broke. My Jesus. Okay, moving right along. You got to start small. Mm -hmm. Talk about cast out the devil, cast out the headache first, cast out the headache. Mm -hmm. Now watch this go. For by it the elders attained mm -hmm. a good report. Mm -hmm. In order for the Bible to say it's a good report, it must be bad reports out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got to be bad reports. <laughs> There's no reason to put good in the Bible if, they, if all reports are good. Don't say good. Just say reports. So there are some bad reports out. He said the elders are tamed. That means the elders had to do something. My, my, my. We're going to find out later on, like I say, the elders had to do something. We got to find out what they did. And guess what? You ain't got to pray in the spirit on this one. It's right here. God's going to break everything down to your simplicity. Now, that's the way I needed God, y'all, many years ago when I got saved. I said, God, I don't know how to be deep. You got to break that thing off to me while I understand it on my level. I need this thing to be simplicity. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. If I talk over your head, you don't know how to get it to work. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say nothing. That's right. I mean, it, well, I'm moving along. So I get, it has to be brought to a level that you understand it. Yes. Understand what I'm able to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. You got it? So watch it. He said, now, through faith, we understand. Well, I don't, don't want to go there. Slide down. So he said they obtained a good report. I'm, I'm going to jump through some things just to show you. I want you to drop down. To number, verse number 17. Yeah. Go down to number 17. I want y'all to look at these. We're going to look at a few examples. He's talking about by faith. He said that they are obtained a, 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 we'll call it a good report. Mm -hmm. What was the report? Now he's getting ready to break down. This is what's called the Hall of Fame. All right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See, Hall of Fame still been written. See, you can be in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, now watch this verse for me. By faith, Abraham, when he was uh, a tribe, Offered up Isaac, and, and he that had received the promise offered up his only begotten Sorry. son. So he obtained a good report. Watch this. Didn't go to Bible study. Didn't, didn't have to go. Didn't, didn't, didn't have the Holy Ghost on the scene. And guess what he was able to do? Didn't have no Bible, but guess what he did? He offered up his son just because God asked for him. Mm. Mm. You know, God, God asked you for something now. We got to go in go deep prayer now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, God. Is it be what you had? <laughs> well, I don't know. Now, three days and three nights, you rose them up. Now, do it the same way in my life. <laughs> Have some on my front porch. Send somebody by the way. We get to get into all this superficial stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm being comical, but what I'm trying to say is, look at the old patriots. They obtain a good report. We talk embracing this lifestyle. That's something you got to class to hold to, which we, you got to adopt this thing. You got to hold firm to it. And what I'm trying to get us to see, and when God showed it to me, hey, look, look how simple it was with them. Mm -hmm. And look at what they accomplished. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now watch it. Look at what they did and what they accomplished on just a word from God. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me. Now, I'm going to fast forward. God now says love. Mm -hmm. You don't need to fast and figure that one out. Love is just what? Love. love. Mm -hmm. So why you so why you don't love everybody? My mm. my, my. Okay, 
Why you treat people dirty and nasty? Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Why, why you treat them dirty and nasty? Why you gossip? Why you talking about them? Mm. You, you got to ask all these things inside the thing. Because he said perfect love casts out all fear. There ain't no mm. fear in love. You can't have you can't have love and fear at the same time. Right. Now either you in fear, if you're in love, there's no fear. If you're in fear, there's no love. Mm -hmm. That's what he's just saying. Keep it simple. You need we need to keep the Bible simple because you're gonna need this this year throughout your time period to bring to pass the will of God for your life. Amen. So he says, drop down to verse number 20. By faith, Isaac. Uh, bless Jacob and Esau concerning the things to come. Verse 21, by faith, Jacob, when he was uh, 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 dying, blessed both his sons and Joseph and worship and lean upon the, uh, the hand of God. By faith, Joseph. By faith, Moses. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at myself. Look at something that's been accomplished. Mm -hmm. All right? Everything's been accomplished and brought by faith. So it's got to be something up in this thing. It's got to be something up. If God is telling them they can accomplish all this thing, why would be something new? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, everybody keeps saying, I need a new word from God. Well, do the old. In other words, you ain't need it. The, the, the Bible says the word of God is a fresh, living, anointed word of God. We act like God's going to change what he's already said. Mm -hmm. Now, last time I checked, I prayed. I got a relationship with God. God been telling me the same thing for 35 years. Mm -hmm. Be holy and sin not. Mm -hmm. you, need a, you need something fresher than that? <laughs> Be holy and don't sin. You don't need that no fresher than that. that that's simplicity. Mm -hmm. It's going to work today, tomorrow, and the next year. Mm -hmm. If he said, if by the name of Jesus, every knee shall, by every tongue shall confess mm -hmm. that Jesus is Lord, I can speak to the devil. No, 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 no. You're going to bow down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, yeah. you got to move. Yes. That works no matter what year it is. Yes. It don't matter. What, you ain't going to use nothing new. I'm amazed at folks that do. I'm like, Jesus goes out into the wilderness, y'all. Y'all remember the story, right? He fasted 40 and 40 night. The devil shows up, offer him all this stuff. And he says, For it is written. Mm -hmm. For it is written. For it is written. And then we say it over here now, we need something new. Mm. Well, he got, it's the same power. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Amen. devil obeys him. Amen. And he's giving you the same authority he has. Amen. So what you need new? You need a new one. Just say the same thing. Yes. And that's why Jesus, listen to me, y'all. Says, I say the same thing that I heard from my father. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. deep revelation. Mm -hmm. Deep revelation for the family. I need to listen to this. Got to watch this. Deep revelation for the family. Mm -hmm. Man is the head of the household when in order. Mm -hmm. If not, woman takes over the head of the household mm -hmm. if he's not in order. All right. mm -hmm. You're following God. Now, watch this. Your children's children are to emulate what has been said in the house. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Because I'm saying the same thing that my father has already said. I'm not saying anything different. That's why only God can have an institution of family. Family, you can call anything what you want to. But God said, I instituted this and it be what I call it. Because I instituted when man sits down, a woman sits at the table. You need to teach your children's children of the goodness of the Lord. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. That's, right. Yes. That's how a generation keeps moving on. And watch this. When we say generation, we talk about your generation in your house. Yes. I can't help nobody else's house. I don't know what other folks are doing in their house. But as far as what we say, as far as me yeah. and my, my house. house. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all you, you, know how we said, you know what I'm saying? In, in my house, y'all y'all use some, some people use some other words. That was my house. I pay the bills up and pay him. Basically what you're saying, hey, look, I control this, this right here, this paradise. You got it? Amen. So likewise, God is trying to get us to do the same thing. Amen. But listen, it must be embraced this lifestyle of faith for the believer. Mm -hmm. I got to cultivate that thing. I got to wrap it around it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because when I embrace it, it means I'm not anti-against it. Mm -hmm. Because God will actually do some things that you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And that's when people get in the back of, well, you know, I'm not going to embrace all that. I got to embrace. He said, man should not live by bread alone, mm -hmm. but by every word. Some, I may not like it, but I got to do it. Because y'all know, take this out. Y'all know, no, even sister tripping. Folk do you wrong. You, you know, you don't love like you both do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But God said, you got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, you watch television, all them shows, and they're dangerous to a certain degree. Certain show, they, they, I mean, they, you, can't, you, can't, you can't get away from it. You know, you can't get away from television. Television can help you teach the word of faith. Now, listen to it. So, this this is this commercial came on, and, and this new show, and, and my wife was like, that don't seem right. I guess it's this woman, married to God, 70, they divorced, and I, she's got a new man. They all live in the same house. All live in the same house. 
right? <laughs> I just saw the commercial, right? And we were laughing at it because the uh, the guy was like, said something. Anyway, he said, the commercial is just this. It's just funny. Remember, it's just a commercial. I hope this ain't real life. <laughs> he says that, well, one way she trust with your children is you got to lie to them. <laughs> <laughs> now, the commercial says, I'm, 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 right, baby? I got to cover. It says, yeah, you gain trust by lying to them. That's how you gain trust. <laughs> you got it? So, it's bad what they say, but it's a teacher moment. Come on. Ah, ah, woo! But I can use that as a teacher moment. Yes. Now, some of these are savage. I'm going to get two up in here. You know what I'm saying? That, that don't make no sense. That don't line up with the word of God. So, I use it as a teacher moment. You got it? Because you're going to hear things in this word that you don't want to hear. You're going to be around things that you don't want to be around. Or you listen to me today. You can be holy, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. And I remember my brother gave this great testimony when we was on Marine Corps recruiting duty. And, you know, you know, you know. You out there, and uh, everybody, everybody ain't saved. I'm gonna say it like everybody ain't saved. And uh, <laughs> and and he would say, man, how how even communication co corrupt good manners. If he had not been really, really shown sure up, say, as we call, you know, joking about really being really saved, he said he he about to say something. He almost cussed. He didn't. He said he almost cussed. Reason why? Everybody up in there, cause you can't you can't take yourself out of the situation. I can be around cussing, but not be a cussing. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, if I have to, now, if I got my choice and I can, and I ain't got, and if I don't have to be there, I will remove myself. Right. But what if you can't remove yourself? Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't remove yourself. You ain't lying. You got to pay for your products at Walmart. They cussing all behind you. You don't want to hear cussing. You can't just walk out with your stuff. You got to pay for it. So I'm going to have to endure for a moment. Mm -hmm. But it's not bothering me because I know this. The devil is a lie. Mm -hmm. you, you think I'm going to cut the devil? You agree. Mm -hmm. Just because I heard him mean I'm going to do it. Amen. The Bible declares this. He said, you don't take a thought unless you say it. Mm -hmm. I heard it. Never said it. Mm -hmm. So it's not even a thought. So I don't have to pull that down. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people try to pull down things not even, that's not even wrong. Did Jesus. you take that thought? Nope. You ain't got to pull it down. My Jesus. Oh. Oh. I don't have to play. It's just that's good. water by that. That's really good. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right, move right along. Right. So Colossians 1 and 9. Colossians 1 and 9. Okay? So embracing this lifestyle of faith for the believers is very important for your life because remember, you got an adversary that we're going to talk about. He's coming to try to tell. Really, if, if y'all looked at, uh, oh man, I don't, mean, I don't need to go to Luke 22 and 32, but anyway, I'll get to that. The devil only wants your faith. He don't want nothing else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. So uh, Colossians 1 and 9. Y'all there? For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you mm -hmm. and to desire. Now, remember, I got believers praying for you, desiring for you. What for? Mm -hmm. That ye might be filled with the knowledge of all his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Now, why would somebody be praying for that? Because the will of God is not automatic. Mm -hmm. That's it. You might be filled. Everybody ain't filled with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and all spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. So the will of God's not automatic. We always think that everything's just automatic with, with inside the kids because you're saved, it's automatic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. You better, you better get inside this word because you're going to have to use your faith in your life. Got it? Mm -hmm. Because in life, you're going to have problems. Mm -hmm. Listen to me very carefully now. You're going to have problems. Yes, Pastor said in 2024, 2025, 26, 27, you're going to have problems. We don't want them, but you're going to have to deal with some things. Mm -hmm. Now, problems are not, what we, it, it, all problems are not from the devil. It's going to get that straight. Mm -hmm. You know, we create some problems for ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, not operating or living by faith, you create problems and, you know, issues inside of your life. That's one of, we know Satan, but other folk, just because you with other folk, you know what I'm saying? It, it can cause the problems. Uh, matter of fact, COVID-19 was a prime example, caused some problems. Mm -hmm. You didn't cause it, but the company went down. You can go to work. Mm -hmm. It caused a Problem. Mm -hmm. Got it? So we have to so we might be filled all night. So don't think the will of God is automatic. Faith can only begin where the will of God is known. If I don't know the will of God for a thing, then guess what? I I'm obsolete. I'm out. I remember hearing things from people and I, I ain't gonna call them name. Uh, somebody, you know, uh, I heard a long time ago say, hey, look, could you, we, we have this uh, 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 pastor anniversary and y'all don't know the pastor, so I ain't gotta say no name. And uh, we, we might make the cake for us. Well, I got to pray about that. <laughs> you got what? You got who? 
Y'all know me, man. I be want to say something. I be want to step in and say something for You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to say this. I want to slap <laughs> Oh, no, Pastor, not good. Ooh, Pastor, want to slap folk. No, 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 I said I wanted to. Come on, man. See, y'all see, say folk be tripping. You know you be having that, that thought. Now, that's a thought. Say it's a thought. It's thoughts. Now, I have to pull that thought back. Amen. I really got to. I got to pull that. I put I know I can't slap nobody. See how they, I just pull that thought down? Uh -huh. I want to, but I know I can't. So I got to pull down the thought. That's how you pull Amen. down the thought. Oh, Amen. You know what I'm saying? You want to cuss? I know it's not beneficial that I cuss. Let me pull that thing down. Not in the name of Jesus. Cussing, I pull you down. I pull you down. Because that was a thought, man. It came. I know that's a thought. That's a self initiated thought. That came from me. That ain't come from the Spirit of God. That came from my flesh. And y'all know y'all get that like that sometimes. You know, y'all be driving in that car, and y'all know how traffic get. My you know Jesus. what comes to your mind? I know one person that comes to their mind. My oh. daughter, I know it comes to her mind. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I know she know about pulling down, you know, on that road. <laughs> <laughs> I know she know about that <laughs> one. <laughs> and she ain't going on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. So we have that. Those are the ones you pull down, right? That's what you want to be able to do for your life. You got it? You know, yeah. uh, and, and, or you, you look at it like this. You come and say, you know, I really don't like me. Where you get that from? You don't like you. No, 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 sin. You know, you know that ain't, that's not from God. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, you got to take my attitude. I love this and me. Yes, sir. Ooh, ooh, yes, sir. Like, okay. Oh, my God. You be around me, you're going to be so no faith for yourself. All look, right. I love this and me. Listen, if you don't love you, it's already declared you can't love anybody else. That's right. Mm -hmm. You just can't. It's, it's not possible. It's not possible. And if you ain't got God, you don't know love. Oh, yeah. see, I had to throw that out there. Oh. I thought you that now the world will throw, throw rock, but we ain't talking about the world. Don't you throw no rock because the Bible says God is love. love. Yes. You can't get love without getting God. You can't get God and not have love. Wow. So all that's inside of that, you know what I'm saying? Just come just come to the ministry. I'll help you out. Praise me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So the will of God does not automatically come to pass. Amen. So every principle, every promise, every authentic in the word of God, there's a faith process. Mm -hmm. Shot faith process. Faith, faith process. process. You got to embrace that process. Just cause somebody come over to you, my friend has my lay hands over here. Watch it. Don't worry about it though. So you lay lay hand on. I see greatness in your life. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That's a that's a that's a great word. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. But there's a faith process to bring that to pass. To bring it to pass. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I remember a long time ago, in in, in uh, this 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 person, uh, there was a very anointed woman. God, woo My wife know what I'm talking about. So, and then we lay hands on Bill Prophet and all that sort of thing. And man, they transferred the gift right in front of them. I mean, it's real. I'm telling y'all, real. You know what I'm saying? Real deal. So I'm like, yeah. But what happened to the young man, he didn't understand mm -hmm. there was a faith process. Mm -hmm. He goes from the, from the uh, uh, prophetic words, business car, suitcase, and going preaching and teaching. Uh, error. Mm -hmm. Error number one. You don't even know it. Hmm. You don't even know God. You don't even know what is written. Hmm. Now you don't need no class on how uh, how to speak prophetic. Uh oh, I just messed somebody up. Right, right. Hmm. Now why you don't need class on that? I know I'm gonna help you out because I know folks out there. I'm gonna teach it. Teach comes from God. It comes from God. You'll need class on God. My Jesus. Hmm. Can't nobody teach you what God said to you. Amen. My Jesus. Huh. Watch out now. Huh. Watch out. Listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. No one can teach you. What God is saying. He's, right. he's saying to you, say that. Amen. You don't need to be taught on what God is telling you. Oh, amen. 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 That's just all crazy. Yes. Amen. But me as a pastor, I can teach you integrity and character. Ooh, yes. How and when and not to say things all a certain right. way. I'm going to teach you character. Amen. I'm going to teach you integrity amen. to protect the gift. Yes. So the gift won't be misused. But you don't need no class. I'm too much of folks' business. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
Praise be to God. And you have to follow through that process. So why is it we understand the world process or how we're going to come say, why well, you don't say God's process? He's got the same way. Got it? So we have to have that understanding. Amen. So in other words, for God to get involved in anybody's situation, I have to invite him in. He is a gentleman. Remember, the Bible said you draw nigh to God, he draw nigh to you. But basically, God said, you don't want him. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I ain't going on you. Mm -hmm. You got it? Because he's already done everything that he knows to do. He already told you, John 3, 16, he so loved the word that he gave his what? Only begotten son that who shall believe him shall have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Now, is it the will of God for everybody to be saved? Absolutely, it's the will of God. You ain't got to pray for that. You know it's the will of God based off of John 3, 16. Amen. Is everybody saved? No. Oh. I thought you said the will of God was automatic. Must not be because everybody's not saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we know that's the will of God. Mm -hmm. It's the will of God to be healed. Yeah. We already know everybody ain't healed. Mm -hmm. But it's still the will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. For my life. Amen. Joshua 1 and 8. Amen. Joshua 1 and 8. Man, y'all always get me in here and get me all on something else. You know, adding stuff. And now I'm looking at everybody else. I'm going to drag you back up. Amen. So you got to realize in your life, You've been waiting on God, God been waiting on you. That, that's what it basically comes out. We, you've been waiting on God, but God's been waiting on you to get in faith so we can make things happen. Mm -hmm. You know, remember? Remember, he only given, while you're turning Joshua 1 8, he only, he only told them, no, it's going right. Th this is what I want you to do. Okay. Build an ark. He gave me dimensions, all that thing, based off the scripture text. Mm -hmm. But all the how to, who he's going to go to, all that stuff, he had to do all of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. The Bible said Noah was a preacher of righteousness. Yeah. He, while he's building, he's preaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's preaching for something he's never seen before. My Jesus. He's getting ready for something he's never seen. My he's God. never seen a flood, but getting ready for the flood. My yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing today. Some things like, well, I don't know how that's going to be. But no one was the same way just like you. He didn't know how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look, you just need, this is what we're talking about, the raw faith. Amen. So Joshua 1 and 8, y'all. It's not this book of the law. He's still talking about the Bible, amen, this book of the law shall not depart out of whose mouth? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what comes out of others, it only matters what comes out of your mouth, mm -hmm. it's because death and life is in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18 and 20, 21. But, you know what I'm saying, so, you're, so your plate, listen to it, because the Bible says, not only death and life in the power of the tongue, but then either should, have, 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 should eat the fruit thereof, but watch it, whatever you're eating is based off what came out of your mouth. What you want on your table? My, my. I mean, when I say table, it's your life. Right. What do you want? You want peace? Speak, talk peace. Mm -hmm. You want joy? Talk joy. You want happiness? Talk happiness. Right. You got it? Mm -hmm. Always, ooh, man, I ain't gonna go down this road, but even. Because a lot of people come out of these different portions of the years and uh, New Year, they just want to be happy. Everybody want to be happy. Everybody want to be happy. Amen. Everybody want to be happy. Amen. Yeah. Listen, everybody want to be happy. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. The problem is, what type of happiness do you want? Mm -hmm. Are you looking for happiness the way it's defined in the Word of God? Or are you looking for it another way? Mm -hmm. Well, what you talking about? There's a different type of happiness. Yeah. There's only one happiness is just going to make you spiritually fulfilled. Got it? Mm -hmm. Number one is what we call synthetic happiness. Synthetic happiness is like this. It gets you high. <laughs> it don't keep you there. Because if you did, there's no thing, be, no such thing as an addict. Mm -hmm. Why you gotta go back? Right. If synthetic happiness makes you happy, why do you, why do you keep going back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you gotta keep going over and over again, that must not be happy. Mm -hmm. You got it. Mm -hmm. Next one is what we call stuff happiness. Ooh, some people are only happy to the degree that they have stuff: mm -hmm. the car, the catch, the crib, and the clothes. Y'all know that's by definition, right? So the problem with that type of happiness is whoever controls the stuff controls your happiness. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> you don't want to be in any relationship in your life where stuff you is stuff happiness. Mm -hmm. You're that's never going to be fulfilled. Because mm -hmm. as soon as the stuff runs out. Oh, you're moving along, long way. I can talk about something. This is a family conference right now. We will leave that alone. I can work that with you. And then we got what we call sin happiness. Why? Pass. I can't believe you said sin makes you happy. You must be ready to buy Forget Solomon Gomorrah. I'm gonna cut that down. 
Good, you got it? Mm -hmm. But the Bible says he he gave up. In other words, he wouldn't go uh, he wouldn't go down into the city and get into sin. In other words, say, to enjoy sin for a day. For a day. Mm -hmm. So sin must make you happy. Mm -hmm. If it didn't, why folks sin? Okay, I, I, I thought that. I thought that may bring it back. You know, for them religious deep folks who got saved, you sin for you. Why'd you do that? Because it made you happy. Hallelujah. Uh, God. So move right along, amen. But God want to move you to what called spiritual happiness. That is the fulfillment where you live out your purpose, design that God has for your life, amen. amen. So, in other words, we, we learned last week that not only this for this year, I got to embrace this lifestyle as a believer of the faith because it's going to please God. Because remember, Hebrews eleven six six says, "Without faith, it's impossible." To please it. You're created to please God. Now listen to me. You're created to please God. Not nobody else. Because everybody else falls up on the umbrella of God anyway. Think about it. If I please God, I'm going to please my family, my wife, my children. I'm gonna, it just all falls up on the umbrella because of the word of God. So this right here is what pleases him. Now watch this. This is what people mess up. They don't even want to talk about this. They think sin is when you, 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 you're out there, uh, man, uh, oh, Lord, I can't use that word in public. Oh, Jesus, what's a nice little word? Yeah. Babe, what's that word they used back in the day? Uh, what did you call my, ooh, I like to say that too. My mom be watching that, she'll get back out there like that. I can't say it like that. Pistol? Uh, Pistol? Uh, no, 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 no. What did you call a man who used to? Go to house to house. Rolling Stone. Yeah, rolling Stone. Yeah. Rolling stone. <laughs> Papa was a was a Rolling Stone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's it. That's what I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just talking about sin, y'all. That's that's just an afterthought. Lord have mercy. So you got in the words, y'all. Just 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 be careful. I, I gotta let that one go right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if I say that wrong, it's gonna, it's gonna be ugly. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't we can't do that. So, in other words, my faith is going to please God. In other words, we found out that sin does not please God. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, the Bible says anything is not of faith, that's sin. Mm -hmm. So, we kind of characterize sin as, you know, rolling stone. But sin is, I don't believe the word. Mm -hmm. Any part of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, doing anything that's not in faith. He says anything that's not of faith is sin. Mm -hmm. So, stop kind of characterizing because he pop is a rolling stone. Mm -hmm. No, you don't believe like you supposed to believe. That's mm -hmm. sin. That's what he's saying to you. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. So now you got a different perspective now of sin. It ain't just Papa is a rolling stone. Mm -hmm. Now, if I don't believe the word just like I spoke the word, it's called sin. Mm -hmm. Anything that's not a faith, God says that's sin. Yes. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That right there have your altar full right there in church. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Full. Yes. Yeah. Cause you just don't believe the well, I'm still kind of one. I ain't gonna know. I don't know. That's called doubt and unbelief. That's not faith. And God says you're in sin. All right, all right. Oh, all right. we ran along. That ain't right. over right. with. Amen. So we, we know this year intentionally and on purpose, we gotta apply all the principles of God for our life. Amen. We talked about this on Sunday, which we say will open up amazing doors of opportunities that we never experienced before. Doors of opportunity because I've embraced this lifestyle. I've never had this opportunity before, but it comes my way. And remember, not every door is from God. I got to be careful to understand that this door that is wide open is from God. I got to maintain my focus. I can't get off my stance. No matter what others are doing, I don't care about all the stuff going on. I know I got to be consistent in everything that I do. Yes. Shall I be consistent? Be consistent. Yeah, you got to be consistent. The word of God tells you to be consistent in everything that you do. You ain't one day up and one day down. Ain't that don't mean to say so I'm not up one day and down today. We need to have what we call consistent believers. Mm -hmm. Consistent believers. I hear somebody say, I don't know how to approach. One day we approach it, next day we can't approach it. That should not be named inside the kingdom of God Amen. because my attitude Amen. has to be like that be of Christ. Because I don't know who I'm going to run into. Mm -hmm. I got to be an effective witness. If I be an effective witness, I got to be consistent. Yes. So if I spoke to you today, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Yes. No yes. matter how I feel, I know every day is not going to be gloomy. Every day is not going to be perfect and well. But I can't gaff you off and just walk by you and just not say anything. Right. One minute I'm hugging you, one minute I'm not hugging you. One minute I don't like it, one minute I do like it. Oh. That should not be named among you. Yes. One minute I want to lift you up because the Bible declares that I ought to lift up my brother and prefer my brothers over others. Yes. So one, I can't be lifting up. Then next day, I don't really know about them. They, they know they kind of twitchy. Come on now. You just said the other day that I was good to go. Now you're talking how twitchy I am. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, I call that elementary thing inside the kingdom of God. And the devil loves to keep you messy. Mm -hmm. 
The devil would keep a believer missing, worried about what John, what Lucinda said about you, what Shanae did not do, what Rob did not do. It doesn't even matter. Instead of you critiquing how, how something ought to be placed inside the ministry, what you ought to do is use your duty expertise to make it better. Amen. You can come up and say, you know what, what would be a better idea than doing that? Let me share this with you. This could go a lot better if we did it kind of like this. I'm saying the way you did it, but you won't sit back and criticize. My Where did you get that from inside the kingdom of God? My, my. My, my. The, the, the Bible declares that we are body. Everybody got every part that they play. We're working together. Mm -hmm. If I got one part out of order, now we cripple. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's why God said, walk in the spirit and after the flesh. So we already know whenever you're critiquing, you're not in the spirit. Mm -hmm. We already know. We ain't got to act. But Bible is clear to say, these are the works of the flesh. Critiquing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gossip. Wow. Not uplifting your brother. Right. Not being in the faith. We all Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. I hope y'all got that. This is, yeah. this is good, good little class. Good, 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 good. Amen. Amen. Praise be God. Now, we got to make that turn. We got to make that turn. Now, 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. Watch this. It says that for all the promises. Keep going there. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. Y'all have this underlined? Amen. For all the promises of God in him are in yea or yes mm -hmm. and in amen. Mm -hmm. Unto the glory of God by us. Now, here's the key. All the promises. You need to unline this. If all the promises are yes, why saints are big in God? Mm. Mm. See, we're going to embrace this lifestyle. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean you're begging God? Oh, Lord. Hey, you're going to do it, do it for me, do it for me. Please, pretty please. What do you mean pretty please? Mm. You know, pretty please in the Bible. The, God, the Bible says for all the promises are yes. So when I pray, the prayer, what I call of agreement, of thanksgiving, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Yes, you've already done it. Glory be to God. Amen, God. I thank you right now. Yeah, I speak to the north, the south, the east, and the west. I tell it to give up and hold not back. I thank you, God, for the things you sit inside my life. Whatever that thing be for you, I'm thanking God for that thing. That's a prayer of agreement. Amen. Prayer of confession. confession uh, a professional confession say the same thing as God has already said. Because the promise is already yes. I ain't got God. Yes, indeed, I will. Will you have some meat on my table? We already know it's the will of God that you eat. Amen. Mm -hmm. And some have over eaten. Okay, okay, move right on, move right on. You can't, you can't not say by five folks, amen? So, bottom line is, we, we know that. That's the will of God, amen? So we must know that thing so we can talk and speak accurately, you know what I'm saying? Because remember, angels get, get their charge from your words. Mm. What? Yes. If, if I'm in error, I, I, can't, I can get angels to show up and work for me. And you need for them working on your behalf. Amen. Now watch this. Amen. In order to get God on the scene, you got to talk faith. Yes. If not, he'll walk right by. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Now, don't make me bring up the thousands upon thousands of in the Bible. God won't wreck my folk. Mm -hmm. Why did he stop by the wayside and help this one person? There was other folks that were sick. There was other folks having problems. Why did he walk into the guy at the pool of the Thesman, not nobody else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's reasons. There are reasons for everything. He will walk. God will walk by you. You're not in faith. Walk right on by. Faith invites God on the scene. My, my, my. You want me involved? He got to stop and respond to faith. My, Jesus. Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus. If not, he walk on by. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Wow. Listen, listen. Folk it deep. I'm going to bring, I'm going to get everybody clear. You can fly to California or you walk. Mm -hmm. God let you do either. Mm -hmm. You can be homeless if it's your choice. Mm -hmm. Now, notice I said, if it's your choice, sometimes you get dealt a bad hand. Mm -hmm. So keep that in perspective. I'm talking just naturally. If you don't want to work, you don't want to do anything, you can do that or you can get a house. You can rent a house or you can buy a house. Mm -hmm. he'll, let you do, he'll let you do both. Whatever you want to do. That's my point. My point is, your faith, you've got to produce. You've got to use it. Mm -hmm. If not, you get walked on, you'll get right, right, up, right on by. Just, mm -hmm. just keep on going. Mm -hmm. Got it? So think about this. This is, this is amazing. Second Corinthians, you don't have to go to chapter 9. I'm going to tell you, watch what God says. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9, I think it's 6 to 10. Watch what he says. He tells a man this. So he said, he tells a man, hey, as a man is purposed in his heart, let him give. Mm -hmm. Now notice he said, as he purposed in his heart, let him give. Got it? Mm -hmm. A lot of times people get that, get that passage mixed up. They be looking at, you know, what somebody gave. Mm -hmm. I don't. He's, but God is saying in that passage, if your heart is not purposed, mm -hmm. don't do it. 
Listen to these things. As a man has purpose in your heart, all giving is with a purpose. It's the whole point. It's the whole point. That's it. Just move right along. Amen. So he said, all the promises of God and yes and amen in him. By embracing my faith, we can tap into the profound wisdom and unlock the limitless possibility that it holds on the inside of my life. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we got to have that. All right. Now, Romans 12 and 3 says this, y'all. Romans 12 and 3. He says, now, a, every man is given the measure of faith. Everybody shout, the measure. The measure. When you make Jesus Lord of your life, he's giving you the measure of faith. Not a measure, because that means he, he will employ out different ones to different people. The measure of faith. So God gives you enough to get started. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me. You have enough to get started. Yeah. I think she got those things when they give it when we get into the building. Those mustard seeds mm -hmm. and a little capsule. Mm -hmm. You can't even see it, but God said it's all you need mm -hmm. to move about. Amen. What? Amen. No, a little mind, he means, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. That's it. So all the old patriots that we were talking about, that's all they had was just that little tiny little bit right there. But listen, you're never designed to stay there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's the key. Uh -huh. That is the reason why when you go inside of any ministry yeah. or, or any life of any believer, there's dip people that have received or produced more in their faith. Don't look at it from a materialistic thing. Don't, don't do that. Look at love, joy, peace, self-control. Because mm -hmm. if my faith don't grow to a level, I'm always going to be hot-headed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hot-headedness will cause you my in life. Jesus. So when God tells you to be self-controlled, you need to have self-control. Because yes. if you haul off and just let the anger be it, the prison full of, I guarantee you can tie almost everybody in prison because of, uh, uh, of middle, uh, not, not middle, but uh, because of anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Decisions that they made. So if I can if I can train you to have self control, I can empty out the prison system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the key is we kind of have rallies. They, they talk about oh they got all the black folks out cut, they got all out cut. I ain't going to no rally. I tell them I'm not going. I'm not going to no rally. Mm -hmm. Cause they locked up because they couldn't manage anger. Mm -hmm. I want to teach them how to manage it, so you don't get locked up. But me having a rally saying, oh, they're against you. Well, okay. Now you know they're against you. Don't help them. Don't help them. <laughs> what you mean? Don't, don't help them. But don't commit the crime. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. I mean, just don't do it. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Amen. It's simple. Oh, they, they try to catch everybody. And they, just put, they put me on my own life. Yes, sir. I know I ain't I, I, I wasn't drunk. I wasn't committing no crime. Let bygone be bygone. I know some things are against you, but I'm, I, I was pretty good. You got it? So that's the key. That's what we want to do. We want to get your mind right. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. So we got this measure of faith. So every Christian uh, doesn't operate the same level of faith because some Christians haven't grown their faith. All right. Remember the disciples? They come to Jesus and say, Jesus, increase our faith. Amen. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. So my faith can grow? Yes. Amen. Remember, remember Jesus if Jesus has to grow, you got to grow. Amen. Remember, they say Jesus increased a little more, increased in wisdom and knowledge. Yes. Right. All they're saying yes. is that he had to increase his fame. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So if he had to increase, and learn, they say he learned obedience. Oh, y'all need to listen to this. Oh, Jesus true. had to learn obedience. Yeah. And then you get children, they're like that. You, you ain't got to learn it. <laughs> but Jesus had to learn it. He had to learn it. He had to learn no. Ooh. My, my. He had to learn. He had to learn how to handle a no. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, baby, you gonna get no. You gonna get some no's in life, and you need to know how to handle the no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to learn how to handle yes. that. Put in other words, you need to know how to put that in perspective. Mm -hmm. Got it? Because no can be good, and no sometimes can be bad. But you gotta know how to handle. Now watch this. Because God in life is always gonna give man restrictions. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to learn it. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Once again, go back to the Garden of Eden. Sin entered because people can handle a no. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Even though the man gives a bad translation <laughs> to the woman, yeah. serpent comes to her and says this. She's only translating what, what he said to Adam, he, what Adam said to his wife. Yeah, you can eat everything here but this one, this one in, in, in here. All thing he said was, just, just, hey, look, don't eat of that, that one tree. You can have everything in that. You know what I'm saying? But just don't touch that. Mm -hmm. But here's the question. What was wrong with that fruit? Nothing. Nothing. Just like in life, 
There's nothing wrong with whatever you think you may do. But it is something wrong when God tells you, no, you can't. That's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. okay. That's good. You got to know how to handle that. Listen to me. That's good. Let's just say God says, hey, man, you know, okay, okay. I want a bit. Mm -hmm. I need y'all here. I want a bit. Mm -hmm. Why? For my enjoyment. But here's the reason why I can't go get no Bentley. God didn't tell me to do it. Mm -hmm. He says no. It's just that simple. It ain't no, it ain't no praying moment. It's just that simple. If God tells you no, you can't go have it. It could be a pair of socks. If God said no, you no. Mm -hmm. Now God knows you need some socks. You know what I'm saying? But if He said no, I'm just, use it for an example. It all depends on what God has told you. First John five and four. This is it. Then we gotta close. Yeah, we gotta close. First John five and four. Y'all been such an amazing class. My God, y'all are good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Amen. Yeah. Now, so we found that the some Christian has developed their faith to a certain level. Amen. And that's good. And I'm, I'm, I'm after we get the scripture, we got one other scripture. It's in the closing moments, though. Okay. So First John five and four, and then I think it's um, I think it's Luke. I'm pretty sure it's Luke one thirty seven. And uh, you definitely want to be there. Yes, indeed. You definitely want to be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Luke one and twenty seven, twenty eight. Yeah. Yep. So. Let's look at this part here. Over here, First John 5 and 4. The entire ministry, that's our, that's our, that's our, that's our scripture, right? Mm -hmm. But this is important. You got to get it. Embracing the lifestyle of faith is all about this for the believer. He gives us the key ingredient for life. If you don't do this, you're going to live a, 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 a kind of life. But it won't be the, be the kind of life that God has intended for you. Uh, I was listening one time, man, which God gave such a, a great example of living uh, a life the way God said it or, or any other way as a believer. Uh, it was Bishop O'Neill. She had a cart uh, and had all type of uh, stuff on pots, pan, glasses. And when they brought it to her, what she did was she said, this is, uh, this is you living your life. You got saved and not going by none of the word of God. She started driving, she started shaking, boom, boom, boom. All the stuff started falling off the thing because every as she was going, which emulates life, and if you go through life, you ain't using other words, <laughs> pots and pans are falling off all that. Your life is a disaster, but you're still going to hit. You're still going to hit. Mm -hmm. But you're living hell on, on earth. My mm -hmm. Jesus. Now, you, you, can go, you can go to heaven like that way. My Jesus. Mm -hmm. Or they picked everything up, got the car, nice and smooth, mm -hmm. and drove nothing fail. Mm -hmm. Which way do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to go to heaven living your life like God intended, or do you want to go the way, uh, go to heaven and uh, live, live in hell here on earth? Mm -hmm. Jesus. You, you got a choice. You got to make your choice. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so, 1 John 5 and 4, for whatsoever is born of God, y'all need to listen to this. This is the key for your life. Mm -hmm. You may tell me, is born of God, and you know how to get, he, he said, you know, Nicodemus had to make stuff about being born in a man's flesh. He said, no, when you confess, Romans 10, when you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in God, uh, God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. If you get born again of the spirit, you overcome it the world. Now listen, the world is the, is, 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 is anything that's against, against God, he said, now, no matter what happens in this world, in this atmosphere, you've already won. You need to know whenever there's a situation, circumstance, anything happening in your life, the one thing you need to understand and what keeps me sane, I've already won. Amen. Even though it looks bad, they can be torn apart. I don't care. I've won. Amen. Amen. Your faith got to be at that kind of level. I've already overcome it. Why? Because God said it is. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's it. Because God said it was. It don't look like, it may not look like, it didn't look like I was being, I was being half or even uh, 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 successful, probably about, uh, 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 let's see, when did I graduate? I'll tell you that, y'all know my age, I, uh, yeah, I'm old though, but, so it don't really matter. In 1986, it didn't look like I was going nowhere. Uh -huh. It didn't look like it. I didn't even know who God was. But here's the catch. But the devil didn't know one day I was going to be born again. All right, mm -hmm. all right. So the devil spent overtime uh, uh, worried about your past. And I always tell people, before you got saved, don't even worry about it. Because he's dealing with somebody you don't even know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're working up schemes and all that stuff on somebody I, I don't even know I was born again. Mm -hmm. Now, devil, go check, go check my track record after being born again. All 
Oh, yeah. He can't find anything. You see what he did that? So that's the key for your life. He said, now, once I've been born again of the spirit, I overcome the world. So that lets me know in my life, I don't care what happens in life. I know I'm supposed to win. I overcome that. And this is the victory. Listen to it. And this is the victory that overcome it, the world. That means any problem you will ever face in life. Amen. Watch this. Amen. Even our faith. Even our faith. Amen. That's power. Hallelujah. Because you're going to need to get saved. You can't even get saved without Not having faith. Yes. This is going to be good. Now, here's the catch though for everybody. Notice when you go back to the scripture, because I don't think anybody caught it. Watch this. Everybody's dealt what? And based on Romans 12 and 3, measure. measure faith. Now, watch this. When did the measure come? Think about it. When you were born again. That's right. Of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because think about it. You don't even know God. But God has to have an auction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To let you know that I need a God. And you make the decision, I'm going to confess. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So what I'm saying is, you would you would get the measure of faith, even though you're unsaved, you got the measure of faith. You got enough inside of you saying, this is enough, this is enough, I'm coming in. Where did that come from? From God. Because he dealt enough inside of me. So what happened is, you've been rejecting God. Hallelujah. Because he says the scale. Watch this. When you, how you pray for anybody that's unsaved. I tell folks all the time. Maybe he's sitting there. I'm like, okay. You, are you praying with us? No, no, no. They pray the wrong prayer. The prayer for the saved is so simple. That the scales of their eyes will be falling off. Amen. The Bible says they were blinded. It was hid. Darkness because the devil put scales on their eyes. That's it. You got to pray for that to be open. To enlighten. Yeah. All the other stuff you're doing is for you, but it ain't for them. You're going to have the scale to fall off your eyes. Oh, Amen. Man. Glory be to God. So this world that he's talking about is this world age system. You cannot allow the world system to tell you how you ought to believe and what you ought, ought to have inside of your life. Because people will scale you back. Oh, the world Amen. will. Amen. They'll scale, they'll scale you back. But Luke 1, oh my God, 27 and 20, uh, to 38. But anyway, that passage I'm going to get to. Let me go there because I'm going to get that down. Because I'm going to teach a whole series on that joke right there. Yes, sir. This is it. I can use this for the, you can use this, y'all, for the Christmas stars. It'll it be so good for you. So good. Yeah, the birthday. Now, hold on. Let me get down to the winter. Y'all got no more. Uh, the 27. Huh? Is it 37? It might be. I'm looking at it, y'all. Give me a quick second. I got it written. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 37, 38. I got it right. I just did something wrong there. I want y'all to listen to this part. We, this is it. We close. This is it. This is the truth right here. This right here is a game changer for changing for your life. And you just like, like this. Because we remember, we use an Old Testament, how they feel, hey, in the Hall of Faith. I want you to watch this Hall in New, New Testament Faith. Mm -hmm. Watch this. 37. For with God, nothing shall be what? Impossible. Then watch verse number 38. Mm -hmm. He goes to Mary and he says, listen, angel talking, look, this is what's going to happen. Holy Ghost going to look at him. This is going to happen. And he's going to be great. going to be a shame. Mm -hmm. And Mary said, remember, this is your Mary. Mm -hmm. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me. Oh, I'm dealing with you today. God, we're working on that thing. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. According to thy word. Oh, yes, that's sir. it, y'all. You close the Bible up. Yes, sir. That's it right there. Yes, sir. That, he, he takes everything I've talked about and he, and he wraps that thing up in that passage of scripture. Yes. Be it unto me. According to what God has yes, said. Yes, right. yes, yes. I live that way. Ooh. That's it right there. God, whatever, whatever you say, and I, and I know what you say, be it unto me. When we learned this, y'all, my knees had knees. Mm -hmm. It's ain't got nothing to do with what you have, what you got. Just say, God, be it unto me. Yes. Look, all help, peace. <laughs> hey, yeah, peace all in the line. You know, be it unto me, God. You said I walk around in perfect peace. Be it unto me. Amen. You said I walk around in perfect love. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. Everybody love you. Everybody love you. Even though some people might not. I believe though. You love me. That's yes. all. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm God's favorite child. Be it unto me. Hallelujah. Be it unto me. 
I, when I go to bed, my sleep is sweet. I don't stay up all night. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. My sleep is sweet. Be it unto me. Go and be to God. Yes, sir. All my bills are paid. Be it unto me, God. Be it unto me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm back with all that I believe. Oh, man. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. No, yes, sir. I'm buying land next door. Be it unto me. I'm building houses and homes. Be it unto me. Thank you. Everything you can think. I'm creating a new job skill. I'm making. What up? Be it unto me. Yes. Don't you let anything slip in your life. You tell God, what? hey, be it unto me. According to be it unto me, praise be to God. Yes, sir. Everything that is, my mind is alert, be it unto me. I'm kind, be it unto me. <laughs> I am loving, be it unto me. Glory be to God. All of that stuff inside of your life, that's what you got to say. That's what it is. Whatever it is, you let God... Be it unto me. It's, it's according to that word. Oh, you're yeah, out of seat. Yes, praise be to God. And I'm out of time. Get a Lord ahead and pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, God. Amen. Come on, we're going to stand. We're going to pray. Amen. And then Pastor Vanessa is going to let us go home. Amen. Praise be to God. All right, come on, stand all the building. We're going to pray. We want to thank God for you today. Amen. Uh, for here to, to hear the word of God being preached inside of your life. Amen. My hands are by eyes are closed. Saints are praying all over the building. I'm going to make two simple appeals in just a moment uh, as we pray. Father, we thank you. You're giving me praise. We're giving you glory and honor to thy name, oh God. God, we thank you now that your word, all your word is truth, truth without error. Father God, now in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we believe while this word of God was going forth, it was touching the lives of your people. Amen. And God, I thank God for the Holy Ghost confirming the word of God with signs and wonders following. So, Father God, with heads about and eyes of hope, saints are praying all over the village. I want to make two simple appeals in this place today. My first appeal is that, look, you may not have, have accepted Jesus as Lord of your life. And I'd be remiss if I did not give you an opportunity to begin your year off in any time period to confess that Jesus is Lord. Yeah. So I want to give you an opportunity to confess the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Now listen to me. When you do that, the Bible declares that all of heaven is on alert, that you are saved and set free and delivered. Now listen, heaven becomes your home. No matter what the devil tells you how you feel, you walk out of darkness and enter into the marvelous light. So I want to give you that opportunity. I want you to pray right where you're at. Heads about, eyes are closed. Right where you're at to come inside the kingdom of God. Now, if that be you, now listen to this. Say, Father, I thank you today for coming into my life. I confess the Lord Jesus Christ today. I believe that Jesus died for me and that God raised him from the dead. I believe that. Yes, I believe that in my heart. Now, look, if you pray that simple prayer, the Bible declares that you have entered out of darkness and now you're over the marvelous light. No longer is hell which will be thrown into the lake of fire, is your home. And all of heaven is rejoicing for you right now. Not only are we here, I'm excited for you, but all of heaven is going to part it because one has been snatched from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a pit number two. You said, Pastor, that's not me, but I, I've been outside the body of Christ for a little while. I once had a relationship with him. But just as you know, the devil is very shrewd. He can, he can trick you. Yes, sir. And you can get off track. But I want to help you to get on track. But one of the things we said in 1 John 1 and 9, that God is a faithful and just God. He'll cleanse you, he'll forgive your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. All you have to do is ask for forgiveness. In other words, repent. That's the sign of the thing. Repent. One of the definitions of repent means to change your mind. In other words, not doing 360. I'm doing 180. Listen, pray this prayer. Say, Father, I ask for your forgiveness. For I've sinned against you. Whatever you're sinning, you tell God, I don't need to know it. But you need to know and identify so God knows that you know. That's one reason for confession. So that you know that you're wrong. And God says, you know, how to, you know how to do that thing now. So you make that confession. I confess my sin to you today. I ask for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name. And listen, if you've done that today, he's forgiven you. Your life would be so much better. And now, listen, you're walking back in the marvelous light. And guess what? God's got people for your life. He helped you along your way. God never leaves you alone. I'm telling you, he's got you equipped around people that can help you. With your spiritual walk to attain all the things that God says you can have and live the God kind of life by design and not by default. Now, Father, I thank you in the place, amen, and we want to thank you for the people who gave their lives uh, to you today, as well as the people who made a rededication into your life. And, Father, by the ones that are in the building watching us by social media, I want to pray for you. Now, Father, I thank you for everyone that's here today. And, Father God, I thank you that as they have that personal I mean, divine relationship with you. You meet them right where they're at. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't know their requests, but you know.
Now, Father, I know that you'll honor their request in faith in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, whatever they're touching the ring with you for, and Father God, lines up with your word of God, I agree with them right now in the name of Jesus. We're two or three together in your name. You said, God, there I am. I'm right there in the midst. So, Father, I thank you right now that a hedge of protection is all around them. Everywhere you go, all of your walk, whatever you're doing, I pray now the angel of God is in quite kept around you. Listen, no hurt, no harm or danger is coming in your dwelling. Whatever God called it to be inside your life, it's going to be that way. Now, listen, I pray for every organ, gland, tissue that's in your body. It will function the way God created and function. Amen. I pray no hurt, no harm or danger in your body. No, no, that should be named among you. But all of your intestines, all your organs, everything is going to function the way God created it to be. Now, Father, I thank you now in the name of Jesus. All is well in the lives of your people. And Father God, even as they go out throughout this year, you've got important things for them, people that's important to their life that you put on their course. And God, I thank you for the meeting now. I thank you for the open doors and opportunities for them that God, they're walking right on through. And to any hardship, they, they ever a challenge they have to deal with, God, they do it, they do it to glorify you. That God, they're overcoming everything with the faith. And Father, I give you the praise in this place, Father God, and all the glory, Father God, for what you have done and what you are doing in the lives of your people. Mm -hmm. And Father, we are so careful that you, oh my God, is the great I am, the author and the finisher of our faith. And God, we're going to stand by you all our days of our life. We're standing with you. Mm -hmm. And we give you praise, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, let everybody shout, Amen. 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 Lord, hand praise of Pastor Amen. Nessa come. She's going to pull us out. And offering. Amen. 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 Praise you, God. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Grimsley. Amen. What an awesome word. Amen. Amen. As believers, we must embrace a lifestyle of faith. Amen. Amen. We must embrace a lifestyle of faith. What an awesome word. So I hope you got that this morning. And hey, you charged, you ready. And you got running in your feet. I got this thing. 2024, I got this thing. Yeah, and we're going to run, amen? amen. We're going to run like we got fire on our feet, amen? Amen. amen? amen. So this morning, we thank God for you. It is offering time. It is offering time. Amen. Yeah. amen. We pray that, hey, hey. Let's see. Let's get over there. Here we go. There we go. It is offering time. So we pray. I think that's a... Can y'all see that? Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. Good. It is offering time. We ask that you hey, prepare yourself. These are four ways that you can give. You can text FBCC to 54244. You can also cash app Grace 5 Grimsley. Amen. That goes to Pastor O's cash app. You can also cash app to I Intercede. That goes to my cash app. Or you can sell it to 256 746 6364, and that goes to the church. Amen. So those are four ways to give. We ask that you release your faith. Amen. Sow your seed. Release your faith. Come on. You got to believe that it's leaving your hand, but never your life. Amen. Amen. You're planting seeds to watch them to grow. God got something great for you in store. So we ask that you come be a part of Faith Victory Christian Center. Be partners with Faith Victory Christian Center and sow your seed and release your faith. We thank you for joining us this morning. We thank you for tuning in with us. We thank you for coming into the place. And we will see you guys on the third Sunday. Hey, in person. But we will see you next Sunday online. Somebody shout next Sunday. Next, next Sunday. Sunday. Next Sunday. So, hey, we go ahead and tell somebody about Faith Victory Christian Center. Go ahead and spread the word. Invite somebody to church. Check out for the church with me. Come on. That's how we build church. Amen? Amen. That's how we build kingdom. One person at a time. He called all of us to be disciples. And our job is to help fill the seats in the kingdom of God. So, we ask that you be blessed. And go with God. And God, and God will go, go with you. you. Until next time. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.